So hello people, this is Glenn from Gumadi Coins and Banknotes. Today we're going to talk about the South Sudanese currency. Obviously I don't have any of the currency and the reason why I didn't purchase any is because of the current state of uh, South Sudan now. Uh, since 2013 it's in um, civil war and if you know, if you've been following any civil wars they generally create inflation due to shortages and the currency becomes volatile so here I have the highest denomination which is the 100 pounds South Sudanese pounds as a line it has a uh, John Garang de Mabu he actually died in a helicopter crash in 2005 and this is actually the highest denominated currency but the value to one US dollar is actually higher than this and I'll give uh, two reasons why the value of the South Sudanese pound has uh, th is the way it is and so the first one is the actual stamps no stamps generally have a bearing on uh, what can be bought and sold and the value of the actual currency although some countries their postage rates like in China are very low and in other countries like Australia postage rates are very high so they're just the base average of what an individual can afford so in 2011 we had a South Sudanese postage stamps one and three and a half pounds then 2012 they should uh, more co comprehensive series, wildlife series, so 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, and 50 pounds. So, 1 pound could still buy you something back then. And then, we go to 2017, and actually surcharge the 1 pound from 2011, with uh, 50, 75, 100, 300, 500 pounds. Now, as you've seen, the highest banknote is actually 100 pounds, so... To charge five hundred pounds as postage means there's been very significant inflation. Considering in two thousand and eleven the pound was valued at ooh, what was the pound valued at? Uh, I think about two point three to one US dollar. Uh, let me have a look. So, 2011, it was worth about uh, 76 US cents. And currently, it's a government value of about 90 US cents. But that's artificial. Like uh, Venezuela, which has an artificial peg. But a free market peg is about 130 per US dollar. So, the 100 pounds is only worth about less than one US dollar. And here we have the current stamp, another one, 2017, another surcharge. Quite obviously, this country cannot afford to produce more stamps because the inflation has probably drained the economy and the government of all monetary resources. So one thousand pounds that's like ten times the current highest banknote. That's like in the United States having this postage stamp with a thousand US dollars, which is ten times the current US one hundred dollar banknote. And we'll have a look at the exchange rate. So here we have an exchange rate on who is it? Mataf.net. The exchange rate is 100 South Sudanese pounds equals 77 cents. So if you invert that, it's about 1 US dollar because it's about 130 pounds. And as you can see down here, 1 South Sudanese pound equals not even 1 US cent, uh, 0.7 of a US cent. So the current coins of 10 piasta to 2 pounds, they wouldn't circulate because they can't actually buy anything. The most common banknote 
I would say most likely is the 100 pounds. Probably even the 50, 20 and 10 pounds are still quite common. Uh, and because 50% of the population lives in poverty, well, that's just a sad state for the South Sudanese economy. So, in the moral of the story is don't buy these banknotes for too high because their value is less than one US dollar. So if you buy a hundred pounds for over, I don't know, probably five dollars, then that is way too much considering its value currently and it's quite a common banknote. So thank you very much. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And have an awesome banknote collecting time, people. Bye-bye.